Hey everyone, welcome back. So welcome to my YouTube channel, My Study. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the different profiles for AWS CLI. So while you configure from AWS CLI, we didn't try to provide any particular name to individual uh, profile. Le how one can switch between those uh, profiles. So in this video, we are going to uh, see with a little hands-on demo how one can create a different profile rather than those default profile and how one can switch between those profile okay so let's say i'll just go to my uh, dashboard main aws cloud shell now let's say if i just try for let's say aws configure there is some credential currently being associated okay but if i just try for enter 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 and enter everything being unset if i just try for uh, see this aws credential whatever just now we have said i don't want any credential uh yeah it's still set uh, you just cannot edit it i thought uh, this way one can update it but not possible but that's perfectly fine this is with the uh, default profile okay now how we are going to uh, perform this particular demo so for that what we are going to do uh, let's say uh, we have a, how many users are available uh, we have uh, to you uh, four user let's say bob new one profile we want to create john related another profile will create and uh, some operation will just allowed for john and some operation will allowed for bob uh, this name actually bob new just for earlier demo i just did it uh, can i edit uh, very fast i just don't like actually bob new i like to make it clean and simple yeah it definitely it's uh, possible to add it uh, from here permission generate policy groups tag security oh or through just the uh, ui only uh, i mean through console access is disabled see for the bob new console access anyhow we don't require the console access we just want a uh, access uh, from command line okay so there are two profiles i'm just simply going to create it uh, one is bob new and one like i would say bob and another one is john okay so john related one access key i'm just simply going to create it this mfa policy related to john i am not interested for both of them we'll just apply different policy so in a security setting, uh, there is already one access key, but I don't have a access for those access key. So I'll just simply uh, delete. I I am not interested in any of the existing access key for now. I just simply deactivate or delete it. Okay. And I'll just make a note of uh, both of this thing in uh, some of the not paid stuff. Uh, let me just go ahead with the creation of access key. Now this thing we are creating for john remember okay let me create it so for the john it's being created can i open not paid now yeah i have a not paid here let me new screen so this is for the john so oops it has to be complete okay so this two stuff are for the john for the john let's say we'll just provide the s3 access and for the bob let's say we'll just provide the iam access okay uh, for the bob again i have to create it so i'll just go back to users let's say to bob security credential oh it is also having some uh, access key i am not interested in it so i'll just simply delete Okay, let me create a new access key from the command line. Accept. Okay, this is for the Bob. And this is the secret access key for the Bob. Now this four, we are simply gonna use it. So I'm just gonna keep it in my another window. I'll just go to my cloud shell. Now earlier we did this AWS configure. Now moment you perform this AWS configure that will go by default into uh, I would say default profile okay but we are interested to create a new profile so there is a one more option I have to provide like a profile 
let's say profile for first we'll just create a john okay enter now here for the john whatever access key id i have set that is i just copy pasted it and the same way we'll just set for access key also okay region we are not interested for now okay so this is related to john now if i just try for this cat you'll be able to see there is a one more profile being added in this particular credential file that is apart from default it's a john now when you uh, do not provide uh, any profile related tag or i would say option while calling any commands uh, in this particular case it will take into consideration this default access key id and default uh, access secret key there is a one more i want to create that is like let's say bob and to the bob we have okay let me clear the screen okay so we have a two profile uh, currently available in a aws configure you can have a look at john also and bob also now to the john uh, let me provide some access okay how i can go back okay to the bob uh, we have decided that we'll just provide i am read only access so i'll just quickly give i am i am read only access and to the bob uh, or no to the bob uh, we have provided i am read only access okay is it done okay bob remember i am read only access and to the user john will just provide the s3 access okay this mfa okay mfa is uh, i guess required oh we won't allow for mfa okay that's fine we'll just go for permission let me add permission attach policy directly s3 read only access okay we have s3 read only access that's fine now we know that bob is allowed for i am read only access so if i just try for aws i am list users it will go into default profile and with this default profile uh, there are some issue okay uh, that is the access uh, keys i created we earlier and um, definitely there are some issue but with bob profile if i just try to get the same command to execute let's say bob bob has i am user access so i immediately got the output so because of correct credential uh, next if i just try the same operation from the john account i won't be able to perform it because access denied now if we just try for aws let's say s3 within s3 uh, i just want to do ls with default one not possible so moment you do not provide the options like a profile not possible but if i try for let's say profile of john so to the john we have provided s3 access and no error and as we don't have any bucket it didn't list anything but no error which indicates that call is successful and if i just try for bob you will be able to see unauthorized access list all my bucket uh, this operation is not allowed for the uh, bob okay so this way one can create a multiple profile apart from the default profile and individual uh, profile is nothing but i would say individual user only because the credential has been attached and definitely once the credential been attached the permission also being attached to individual user and you can control the permission that which user what one can do it you just want be able to perform all the operation in some specific profile depends upon what policy being attached okay so that's all about this video i hope you enjoy listening this video and please do like and comment on my video i'll get back to you in the next video uh, with some more informative content on aws cloud computing